Hi guys, I'm Tom Youngs and welcome to The Hook. Question from Marissa Keho, which is more challenging, farming or rugby? So Marissa, I say that rugby um, has been a great challenge over the years. I think farming's challenging at the moment. I think there's some things going on behind the scenes. Um, I would say personally, I haven't done enough farming to say it's uh, challenging. Um, but I'd say rugby has been the most challenging thing for me so far in my life. Um, lots of highs, lots of lots of lows, and a, and a mixed bag at times. Question from Stephen Francis: What's the toughest match you've played in, and why? Great question, Stephen. There's plenty of tough games. It's very hard to uh, specifically say one. I think um, any of the international games are very tough. I think any of the top end Premiership games are extremely tough. Someone like when you go play Saracens you're in the game for 50, 60 minutes and suddenly um, the last 20 minutes they really take hold and, that, and that's quite frustrating at times. Um, the toughest games for me personally are, are uh, the most physical games when uh, as a full pack you're up against it most 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 days and um, extremely tough when uh, you play against a very good forward pack and um, you come off and you, you can hardly walk on a Sunday. Howard Trantree, have you ever called a Tigers line out call by mistake when playing for England or is Ellis Gange as scary as he looks? Good question. I'd say Ellis Gange is a big softie, really, in some regards. He's a great bloke. Um, I've got a lot of time for Ellis. I think um, his background and how he's got into rugby has, has been great, and um, he's doing some great stuff for us at Tigers, and he's got a massive uh, future in the English shirt. Uh, regarding getting uh, line-up calls um, or calling the wrong one, no, I haven't, but it is quite tricky when you do go away from England and you've got your your Tigers calls, it takes a little bit of learning, a little bit of time to sort of adjust back to the England calls. Edward Bourne, what's more exciting, getting an England cap or getting a new Bailey trailer? Great question. Um, I would say I'm excited about both, or was excited about both. Um, looking forward to getting the England cap was a, was a massive um, moment in my life and, and to, to do that with my brother alongside me was, was huge. Um, so something which, which I hold very dear to my heart. Um, but also looking forward to getting a Bailey trailer. They are the best in the market, of course. Question from David Fox. How do you balance your farming life alongside being a professional sportsman? Good question, David. Um, to be honest, because the, far the farm's two and a half hours away in Norfolk from Leicester, I, I kind of uh, can get the balance quite all right, to be honest. So I think if um, the farm was just around the corner, I'd be distracted far too much. So I'm quite glad it is at a distance because um, it would be very, very difficult to sort of pick one or the other um, so but I probably don't get back to the farm as much as I like to it's my massive release away from uh, being a professional uh, rugby player so I love going back especially when the times and the pressures gets too too much it's just nice to get back home even for 24 hours just to see something different do something different and refresh and regenerate question from James Burton what are you more passionate about rugby or farming and if you had to pick one which one would it would you choose James, that's a, that's a very tough question and I don't know how to answer that. I think I'm very passionate about both. I think rugby is my profession at the moment, so I decided to pick that. Um, I'm, I'm a great believer in that um, you can't do multiple things. I think you have to buy into the one thing and if you really want to give it a good crack, really focus all your energy into that. So I, I think I choose rugby at the moment, but that will soon switch when I'm too old to run on the pitch. Um, soon switch to, to farming, my passion for farming will come more and more and more. Um, but as I say, it's a tough one to choose from, um, but I will pick rugby at the moment. Question from Gemma Smalley. How many more years do you think you'll be playing professional rugby? For And do you plan on retiring to farming full time? Gemma, I'm hoping to play a few more years yet. I'm 32 now, um, young in in real real world, but uh, getting old in, in, a, in a professional world. Um, but yes, I will turn to the family farm. Um, I'm very lucky and something I never take for granted is that I've got two things um, I love in, uh, in the profession and one's rugby and one's farming and I get to do them both. So I think when I retire from rugby, I'll be very sad to leave, to leave it, but I'll also be very excited for my next chapter, which will be on the family farm. Question from Brian Walsh. Which Six Nations away venue was your favourite? Brian, um, real easy this one for me, um, Millennium Stadium. It's one of the most daunting places you ever go to and one of the best atmospheres you ever ever, ever receive. Look, we're not well liked down there as an Englishman and um, it's, uh, it, it always, it's always a great occasion and, and you saw in the last Six Nations um, how the Welsh crowd almost 
brought the Welsh um, Welsh players back to life in some regards and, and got them the victory. And um, you know, I think um, it's just a fantastic stadium, fantastic occasion, Wales England. Question from JD Dixon: If a cool call up came from the British Lions to play in a tournament in the Southern Hemisphere and Harvest was knocking on the door, would you put the farm before the rugby? Do you know it's a great question? Um, I, I look, I think it's a, one of them. You know, opportunity in life you don't get very often. I've got plenty more harvest left uh, left in my life, so I, I think I'd have to abandon my dad and say, "Sorry, dad, you'll have to take the fort, and I'm going on the going on the tour." And I think actually he'd encourage me out the door, and he'd probably join me over there to come and watch. So uh, look, we're we're, we're uh, farming mad, but also rugby mad as a family. So um, I'm sure I'd be quite alright to sort of walk away from it. Harry Green, with a vast number of trailer manufacturers available, what made you choose Bailey Trailers? Great question, Harry. Um, hope your knee's getting better, mate. Um, what made us choose Bailey? They're just, a, I, lo I love the company. I think actually, having gone round there, they're such a family company, and I I'm a big believer in, in family, and, and uh, um, I fully respect that. I think the product they produce is unbelievable. Look, you see those trailers everywhere around the country, if not around the world, and um, they're well built, well made, and um, will last for years and years and years. So um, for me, it was an easy choice, and, and that's why we've gone with them. Some great questions there guys, thanks very much for um, sending them in and uh, happy farming to everyone, cheers.